live in this state of arrested development when it comes to making movies, and I like that place. So I think it's all you ever need to tell a great story. Something that I run into all the time, especially with a lot of people that I work with, a lot of people in this community, like they love to get hung up on the gear. But I always say like that, like shoot it with whatever video your cell phone can shoot and make a great movie, and that's the real challenge. These are all like my favorite, these little power shots by Canon. If ever you're thinking about getting into filmmaking, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> buy, the, buy the power shots. I'm not against any of that fancy technology. Like I like it, I love the beauty of cinema and I like all that stuff. But for me, like when I'm setting out to make like a short movie and make it fast and make it efficiently and do it myself, which is 80% of the stuff that I do, I see like the more options I have, the harder it is to execute. Literally on an iPhone, you can shoot a movie, you can edit a movie, and then you can upload a movie. So in a phone, you have like a recording device, so you have your entire production, every production element you need. Then you have every post-production element you need because you can edit it. And then you have a global distribution medium. I don't even know if that's proper usage, but you have a global distribution method all built into a phone. So you can shoot something, edit something, and then distribute it to the world all on your phone. Like that never existed before. Filmmaking's never been as fair. It's never been as egalitarian as it is right now. And with the HBO series, like I would say the thing that I get most more than anything with like the fan mail, the emails, is you know, how do I do it? What do I do? What are the steps? I want to be a filmmaker. And it's always just do. And it's it's amazing how willing people are to forget the do. You know, well, I don't have this, I need to do that, I have to first learn this. No, it's like, just do it. Just whatever camera your mom has, you know, use your cell phone. You have to just go. Do you know how big a sheet of plywood is? Do I know what? How big a sheet of plywood is? No. Matthew, do you know how big a sheet of plywood is? Yes, how big? Four by eight. Four by eight feet. That's a standard. A sheet of plywood is always four by eight feet. There, Why? There are two kinds of people in this world, those that know that and those that don't. 